Well, hello there, my internet friends. My name is John Jagsney, and today we are talking about landscapes in Unreal. I use these techniques in my motion graphics and small short films for like Halo things. And I want to show you that process on how to make landscapes. So let's jump into Unreal 5 and talk about some landscape things. All right, we are in Unreal 5, and if you open up a film slash motion graphic slash virtual production project, this will be the default scene that you see. I do have some extra things in my content browser that I added for this tutorial, but for the most part, you want to see this scene to start out. We have some atmospheric fog and a floor and all fun lighting things we can just delete that floor we don't need it now if you're new to unreal it will have different modes which you can add different things to your scene and today we're talking about landscapes so we're going to go up to the toolbar in the top left and see the landscape editing mode here we'll click that and we will see that a big green thing will pop up and this is going to be a preview indicator for our landscape so what we're going to do i generally like to set the location back down to zero for some reason it brings it up by a hundred and uh, i don't like that i like things to be zeroed out so we'll just set that there we can hit fill world it will just take up the entire dimensions of our world in this level that we are working in and then we can hit create now if you followed my halo project i did do a handful of techniques using a different world creator tool coincidentally that is called world creator but you don't need that to make complex levels in unreal just takes a little bit of know-how with the brush settings so our project is going to auto save here we'll just hit save now it is saving and we can now jump into doctoring up this landscape right now it is completely flat there is no depth mid-ground background etc and if we go to the very center part where all of our other assets are it just looks like an infinite horizon which could be the look you're going for and you could stop at the tutorial here because we're not going to talk about textures right now but we want to talk about some hills and some mountains so in your landscape mode what you will see is different tabs under landscape we have manage which we'll talk about in another video sculpt and paint first let's talk about sculpt the bulk of this tutorial we have different brushes and different brush types we're just going to keep it super simple and if we see we have our tool strength and brush size so this is very much like photoshop or if you're an illustrator just like painting on a scene now if i were to actually click in the scene and zoom out we can see there's a hill what the sculpt brush does is it effectively creates height on our scene so if i wanted to undo all of that really quick and we see that this is our center position i want to go around that and create some hills i don't want them to be too steep so i'll bring the tool strength down and then i would just start going around in a circle around our center spot and we can just brush that in doesn't have to be too perfect they look a little weird and funky right now the reason why they do is we're just having the brush sort of take up this circle spot they don't really look like hills they more look like just bumps so to speak but we'll fix that in just a little bit let's just finish up this circle here and then if we hold right click and then we use our WASD keys we can zoom out even more and uh, there's our first layer to our landscapes uh, now we're going to do the same thing just make a big circle around here doesn't have to be too perfect i'm actually going to bring up my brush size i want it to be real big effectively i'm trying to create some breaking up with the uh, the horizon line so it's not a completely infinite sort of look so we'll just keep brushing that in there and then we can go back to our center position and we can see what it's looking like. So what we're doing right now with this scene, we're really just blocking it out. Now that's just the sculpt tool. I'm gonna undo that. I 
I didn't like that brush stroke. We're just adding the basic shape of the landscape. Now, if we wanted to smooth it out, let's say the difference in height between this high portion hill and this low flat, flatter spot, we can just hit the smooth and just start brushing that down. It'll effectively like average it out, so to speak, between these sections. Same thing here. Let's just smooth it out smooth it out and the thing about the landscape tool is it's very art directable in the sense that you can just start brushing things in and out so if you go back to the halo trailer which i showed we had a much larger landscape and you can achieve some of those looks with world creator you can do the same thing here we can see on this tutorial that it looks very flat looks very like bumpy it doesn't give us that sort of organic natural look of let's say erosion now very conveniently there is an erosion tool that you can use in unreal where if you select that and let's just bring up the tool strength to 100 percent just to give you an idea of how much erosion it can do we can start brushing that down and it's going to start giving us the look as if there is erosion happening in the scene on those hills as if nature had a hand in shaping this landscape and we can just keep brushing keep brushing out if we hold right click and then cue down we can see that the shape of the landscape is actually starting to look a little bit more organic it's not quite as flat it, when you think about the real world there's layers of rock and hill i'm going to bring down the brush size just a little bit focus on just these sections here and just make it look a little bit more organic now this tutorial is not going to be a full demo of every single brush tool i really would just want to show you the foundation of how you can set up a basic landscape for simple scenes like motion graphics where you can have a beautiful horizon line with some mountains and stuff so from here this could be your base if you were doing a basic scene where like, let's say a product video where you have a product in the center of the scene and you just want your camera to orbit around it you would get that level of depth in the scene to showcase that it's in an environment because well, that's super cool right now in the halo video there's obviously ways in which you can add layers through fog cards or anything like that we're going to do this the very very simple way and we'll just add some basic fog to the scene now if you were here for just landscape parts of this tutorial we'll probably cut it off here but i'll show you a couple extra bonus things just for fun so we have our base landscape already completed let's just say this was our quote unquote final we could obviously art direct it more, but we're gonna jump back to our active select editing mode. And let's just close the content browser for now. We're not gonna need that at the current moment. We're gonna click on create and we'll go to visual effects and then exponential height fog. And what that will do is that will add some fog to your scene. You can play with these settings to give it more depth, but these layers of mountain help it feel like it's further off in the distance just by adding a simple exponential height fog. Now, the last thing I want to show you is in my Halo video, I used a texture pack for my landscape called Brushify. It's a super easy tool that I use to help create the landscapes without diving into very, very deep node trees. Now, we'll talk about more advanced landscape materials in another video, but for this, I do want to demonstrate how to add some Brushify content to your scene. So we have it here. We have this landscape already kind of built out. If you are using Unreal 5, sometimes the content drawer will be down here. So what I can do is I can actually go through and navigate through my folders in my project without basically having the content 
section take up too much of my screen. So in the content, I have my Brushify folder here. Again, this is a pack that you can pick up on the Unreal Marketplace. Double click on Brushify, double click on Materials, and then Landscape. Now you'll see this landscape material right here with it looks like snow patches. This is the procedural material that you will want to use. So what we can do is we can take our landscape and for some reason the content drawer is taking up too much of my screen so we can go into our landscape and then find our landscape material section under the landscape tab and we can bring down this little drop down menu and we can type in landscape and we will search for that landscape material that we just found in our content drawer same icon let's just click on that and it will make everything black and weird and gross and it's building grass maps now all we have to do is go back to our landscape editing mode and then there's this paint tab that i was showing you earlier you can click on paint and then we have all these different types of landscapes we can add i should mention that each of these different environment types is a different part of the brushify pack so there is a little bit of an expense there but for the halo project i felt it was worth it for this one we're just going to use a grass one because i believe those textures are already compiled and we can just click on the drop down menu click on the grass and it's going to compile shaders and what that means is basically loading shaders or loading the textures in the background so let's give it just a second to finish loading actually there it is it finished how convenient so now we have some landscapes in our scene and what's really cool about the Brushify pack is that it has some procedural grass built in the scene already. So if we come up to the camera speed icon up here, bring it down to one, hold right click, we can sort of fly around our scene. And we can see that the view distance is not terribly, terribly far, but just enough for us to see some cool grass. And we can also just brush in very much like the landscape tool but instead we can paint on this foliage grass in the background now one more really cool thing is that if you have multiple packs for brushify and this is how we did most of the environment for the halo trailer we can select let's say the grass dry or you know what we'll select the desert landscape actually and then we can just brush on and it's going to compile some shaders and now we have a desert landscape in here along with the grass landscape material now what's also really cool about the brushify pack is if you zoom in on the higher portions of your texture of your landscape we can see that it procedurally changes the type of texture based on the height and angle of the landscape so on these hills that are a little bit further back, we can see that it added some rocks and stuff like that. And we can even go in, let's just select the snow material just for fun, fly over to the top of these rocks, brush in here, and you can get some really cool looking snow on the peak of these hills. Now you would think these mountains would be much, much larger, but this kind of gets the point across. With Unreal, you can actually make some really cool landscapes with the built-in tools. Stay tuned for another video in which we'll talk about bringing World Creator into Unreal, but I hope this gets you started as a motion designer using Unreal to create some cool environments for your motion graphics or short films or whatever else. I don't know what you're making. I'm an idiot and I'm probably going to make more Halo stuff. But um, yeah, let me know if this was helpful to you. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that very reason as well. Or you can hit me up on the Instagram at John Jagsney and I will leave you with one final tip, and that is to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll make some games. Goodbye, my friends. Bye!